Okay, so we live in a time period where everyone is trying to get rich, right? It's not to say that you won't be rich, you're on your way, but let's say you're maybe not where you want to be financially, but you also want to find a woman in the process. I got you, bro. I'm going to give you three things that actually work. And if you think that it's not possible for you to get a woman just because of your financial situation, then click off this video. For the ones that have hope, you will go very, very far. Not only in dating, but in life. Nietzsche said, a man's worth is determined by how much truth he could tolerate. Which means if you're constantly trying to get better and you are looking reality in the face, your worth drastically increases. And despite your financial status, women will see that. So let's start with the first thing and it's simple. It is comedy. Making a woman laugh, making a woman smile is a currency. If you can make women laugh and feel joy, you are highly valuable. Now, if you don't consider yourself to be a funny guy, no need in trying to be a funny guy. I'm not funny and this has never been a strength for me. Here on this channel, I teach you how to play into your strengths. That's why this video lists three things, but just because you're not funny doesn't mean you can't learn a thing or two about comedy. So the question is, why do women find comedic men highly attractive? Women like to have fun, right? But there's actually more to it than them just having fun. You see, humor is a sign of cognitive fitness. You know, out of the box thinking, creativity and intelligence. Women are more likely to feel safe and protected around a man who is quick thinking. And remember this, if I can simplify dating for men as much as possible, it would be make women feel safe. Whether that's you being highly confident, super relaxed or intelligent, just make a woman feel safe at all times and she is yours to keep. And a good sense of humor indicates that a man may try to defuse conflicts by being funny instead of escalating problems with anger or violence. Once again, making women feel safe. Look, you have to humanize these women. The same things these girls like are what you like. Now, personally, I don't care about comedy as much. I think the original Borat is the funniest movie of all time and I haven't found anything funny ever since. Maybe, maybe I'm just dead inside, who knows. But if someone makes me laugh super hard, it feels good. And I hate to say that it feels good, but it feels good. So start seeing these women as human. They don't belong on a pedestal. They are humans, they are mortal beings. They like to laugh, they like to feel good. Life can be hard, right? It can be dark, it can be very dark. So if you can make others smile, you are highly valuable. Especially in modern times where people are more depressed, more anxious and more lonely than ever before. So by making other people laugh, you are going outside of yourself almost like a philanthropist and making people feel better, which means your worth increases. Now, I'm not saying to be a people pleaser. You have to do what feels natural, bro. So don't try to be someone you're not. On this channel, I teach you how to get women by being yourself. And many of you don't know yourself. You think you do, but you don't. Most people don't know themselves because inside of who you truly are is a force that is waiting to be unleashed and I can't unleash it for you, but I promise to put you on the right track. Lao Tzu said, knowing others is intelligence. Knowing yourself is true wisdom. Overcoming others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. You want that power, right? And you think you have to look in an external place to find it. You think, oh, maybe if I get super shredded, I'll get that power. Or maybe you think, oh, you know, if I get rich, I'll get the power. No, that power is already inside of you. And if you never truly know yourself, you simply will never unlock it. So be real, look at yourself in the mirror. Do you even know who you are? Do you even know what you're capable of? I guarantee that you do not. And you don't have to learn anything. You have to unlearn everything that you've been taught because you've been brainwashed into thinking you have little worth. Look. Being shredded, being rich, all that stuff is great. But if you have it without knowing yourself, you're already dead. You're just a phantom at that point. You lost. So this is important to remember as we go into the second thing here. And the second thing is ambition. How ambitious are you? Because 
I truly believe that women have like some intrinsic psychic trait where they can tell if a man is going to be successful. Of course, it depends on the woman. You know, if the woman is eating McDonald's and fried food every day, <laughs> she's clearly not conscious. But here on this channel, we don't go for trash women. We go for the best of the best because we are the best. Do you understand? You create your own reality. Your thoughts go into beliefs. Beliefs go into actions. Actions go into results. And results give you feedback. And once you get the feedback, that is your new reality. So start by believing. I want you to imagine yourself, no matter what your age is, imagine yourself as a great man, someone who's conquered the world, someone you want to see yourself as, whether you want to see yourself as a businessman who is at the top of a skyscraper and you're worth billions of dollars, or maybe you want to see yourself as some medieval conqueror, you know, looking over his army on horseback. I just want you to envision this and feel it. Because the men who don't have ambition, it's not because they're lazy or because they're not smart. It's because they don't believe it's possible. But once you understand how this strange, strange world works, you quickly understand that anything is possible. And the cards that you've been given in life are a blessing in disguise because a hero is nothing without a villain. You need challenges and you need to see yourself overcoming them and your ambition will come out of you. Ambition isn't a unique character trait, it's a choice. So believe that you will be successful and women will too. And this isn't manipulation or deception, you have to believe it. Now, I made a long video called Unshakable Confidence. I'll leave the link in the description. Feel free to watch it after this video. It teaches you how to effectively build confidence and it's not a quick fix. Perhaps right now you're not the person you know you could become, but if you make the right decisions and monitor your beliefs, you have to have faith in the person you are becoming because the man you are becoming has everything you could ever imagine. And you have to constantly remind yourself of who you're becoming. Depression and anxiety come when you have no hope. Lack of hope comes from lack of purpose and I'm not gonna find your purpose for you. That's a highly unique, and personal thing, but you're obviously trying. You're looking for answers. You're watching this video, so you're on the right track. You have to understand the world is constantly distracting you from yourself, from who you're supposed to become and what you're supposed to be doing. You can't let these influencers or corporations program you. This is robbing you of your ambition because maybe you're actually falling for it, but something tells me that you're probably smart enough to know that deep inside, you know you already have all the answers. Within, your ambition, motivation, and drive, all that comes naturally through your belief. And if you don't have the belief, you need to consume positive content, realistic content, because knowledge is power for a reason. If you feel like you're getting less hopeful the more you learn, you're not actually learning because knowledge is so powerful that you should literally feel your body bursting with energy, telling you to go conquer the world because now it's possible. Look, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You have to make your own decisions and I respect that, but be mindful of what you consume in this world, physically and mentally. Be very, very careful. The third and final thing that women find highly attractive and makes you valuable is compassion. And don't think nice guys finish last. Being nice is not compassion. You see, most of the people that just act nice are weak. And the reason they're weak is because they are seeking validation from others. They're not actually good people. When no one's looking, they're not kind. They just want to appear as if they're good. Compassion comes from a genuine place. It comes from the heart. And some of the most compassionate people I know have the most abundant lifestyle. And I always say, the bigger the heart, the bigger the wallet because in order to make money, you need to give other people value. And what's the easiest way to give people value? You genuinely have to care about them. And you genuinely care about solving a problem that they have. Perhaps you don't get money for this, but you help others. If you are helping other people, whether you are rich or not, you are highly valuable. You are an asset and women will see that. And Frank, actually had a really good quote. She said, no one has ever become poor by giving. 
There is something about having compassion for others and giving to people that gives you enormous power, and it's rare. How many people actually care about their neighbors, or people who actually care about helping anyone else but themselves? How many? Not many, right? So you stand out from the crowd, and anything that is positive that helps you stand out is going to be highly attractive to women because a good heart is rare. It takes a lot to have a good heart. It takes a lot to give to others, especially when you feel like you have nothing to give. And the act of giving, if you have the right intention behind it, you'll realize that the act of giving isn't actually about giving at all. It's about receiving. When you give with a pure heart, you will receive power. Only by giving, you are able to receive more than you already have. So go give something to someone if your heart tells you.